What's up, everybody? It's me again, that crazy guy with the lazy eye. And today I'm with a not-so-crazy uh, guy with a straight eye. Uh, we got Mike Swagger here, a.k.a. The One, all the way from Hollywood. And uh, Mike actually, uh, well, he was involved in the uh, rally today that was going on about Open Up Our City. And uh, him to put this on, uh, a bunch of people, the Miner family came in. Uh, they, Mr. Miner is actually the backbone of this rally that went today. We did make a post on him at news, a little bit, just, you know, giving a little information that uh, was going on today. And, of course, there was a lot of people that, well, they weren't too very happy about the rally going on. But, you know, opinions are going to fly. But uh, I'm only here to let everybody know what's going on. This post, this video that uh, we will be playing for you in just a second has nothing to do. I'm not making this a political post on him and news because everybody complains they don't want politics on there. It's actual news that actually happened today in your city. So that's what we're covering this. Uh, people voicing their opinions about uh, how this is affecting our town. And let's open up our town back. And Mike Swagger here has uh, found out about the... Uh, the rally going on and uh, I guess you were all the way out in Hollywood and you decided that uh, you're shooting a music video called about the new normal mm -hmm. that everybody's talking about so you decided you want to come out here and uh, use this rally as your backbone of your music video right yep. uh -huh. now what inspired you Mike to actually do this particular video uh, to do the video or the song the song the song uh, I mean it kind of speaks for itself, the new normal. So, I mean, everything that's going on right now, like the the phrase new normal, and I say it in quotes because they're trying to push new normal on us. Like this should be how we act now from now on, you know, right. getting our curbside pickup and, you know, all this stuff, you know, the a couple of cool things, like maybe working from home, kids shouldn't be going, all kids shouldn't be going to school from home. They need other kids to, you know, grow from, learn from, all those kind of things. So. Um, listening to it, it's just like I see so many people arguing back and forth about it should stay this way, it shouldn't stay this way, but these people that understand or saying that it should stay this way don't understand that our constitutional rights are being stepped on. And having a voice, just like these people out here in the rally that have their voice to yell and scream like that, I have a voice and I'm responsible to use it. So you're wanting to be the voice of the people by using the song. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, I, I woke up when uh, I was going to the studio one day and I had a, you know, uh, a rah-rah, run around the streets type song and I was going to go do that. And it was just like the day before, like I, I was at the store and like I forgot my mask and I got treated a certain type of way. And then I almost got into it with a guy because I didn't have a mask and, you know, uh, uh, and then just people arguing back and forth. And I was just like, you know, I'm so sick of this. You know what I mean? Like people aren't using their comments. Sense. What's that? They don't you know, know what yeah, that is yeah. out here, you know? You know, and it, it, it just finally got to me, and like, you know, and so I was just like, man, like, when are we going to get back to normal? When are we gonna, you know, and I just had this beat, and I was like, man, I was like, you know what? I was like, I need to say something. Like, and if you listen to, like, if you listen to music right now, there really is none. And if you listen, when you hear the song, I say, you know, these rappers, they have nothing to say because there's nothing to sell, because mm -hmm. there's nothing open. That's true. So you came up with new you know, normal. And, and I'm not selling anything. It's to empower people that, you know, we don't have to be a new normal. We can go back to normal and just, just use and common then, sense. Exactly. Just go back to normal. And that's what the song's about. And I love that I got the raw emotion of those people, uh, regardless of, you know, what president flag they're holding or whatever. It doesn't matter. We felt the same that we are being locked away and we want to go back to normal. Now, was it normal to you, or how did you feel when you were out there as a black man with all these Trump supporters? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I knew that question was coming. Right. Uh, you know, honestly, like it, it doesn't really affect me, and and the way I mean, the way that it affects me is peer pressure. Right. Peer pressure that I'm black and I'm supposed to hate this guy, but when you do your research and I've done my research and things like that, I, I mean, my brothers talked about this plenty of times. I've never heard Trump say one bad thing about black people. So what am I supposed to be mad at? Right. Like, you know, if you want me to be a follower and assimilate to, you know, everybody that's like, oh, I hate Trump because whatever reasons you hate it, that's stupid. I'm not a follower. I'm a leader. And that's why I made this song, because I'm trying to lead people to do the right thing. Well, you know what they always say, behind a very powerful person is a pack of haters. Yeah, it's if true. If you don't yeah. have haters, you ain't doing something right. Yeah, and it's hot out here, so I carry haterade. Right, <laughs> hater, there you go. So let's go ahead and check out this video now. This video that we're going to play you right now is the actual video uh, footage that we took today on the rally. 
And uh, this video is actually not the official video that he's shooting right now. This is just to throw together to introduce the track to you while you're watching the video that I covered today. But he's actually going to be doing a new release coming up in a few weeks. Uh, he'll send me the links to me to be able to put it out to you. Uh, he got some good B-roll, got some very good footage today with everybody out there at the rally today. So everybody pitched in, uh, they told it like they wanted to say, and uh, this is the feeling of the people, folks, not uh, what I'm saying. You know, so don't it's listen raw, to me, too. it's raw, yeah, it's yeah, real. Yeah. This is what happened in your city today here in Hemet. People voicing their opinions, this is not a political post once again, keep the political comments out of it. I want this to be known as a post for people to know what happened today in their city and what's going on. This is reality, folks. So let's go ahead and check out the video. And uh, Oh, uh, and before we do, I just want to let uh, all the parents know that are watching right now, the lyrics on this are explicit. So if you got to cover your kids' ears or something like that, you know. There is a few F words yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not overbearing, but, you know, there is some curse words. If you don't like your kids' ears, curse words, please do them in the room or cover their ears. You know, do one of these. Johnny! Go to bed. <laughs> Go to bed, Daddy. So while you're getting the kids put away, get them, get them some toys or something, send them in the room, and we're going to go ahead and uh, bring you the video of the rally today, uh, brought to you by uh, Wayne and uh, Larry Miner, uh, and also some of the people in the city as well. Shout out Russ Hutz, Carly Meyer, they've showed up as well, showing their support too. So here you go, folks. Hold my coffee and watch this. Larry Miner, and the other day my brother called me and he says, we're going to hold a little rally and just uh, try and convince everybody it's time to open this country up, get people back to work, and he asked if I'd participate and call a few of my uh, cheap buddies, so we agreed to do it, and uh, you know, just let everybody know that we're all doing great, but we want this country, we've got to put our people back to work. This is really hurting the, the business. And, some of them may not recover, but they got to get open and start uh, and running their business again. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to say? No, but you know, everybody worked together to get through this thing. Like they always say, a community that unites together will survive together. Yes. About the small, what do you think about the small businesses?
I'm gonna say one thing to you, Governor. Open up your shops and businesses. People are hurting. They it's a new swim around our neck. Right there, man. That's the guy with the plane, right there. Open us back up. I just want our city to get back to normal again. What do you think about how this is affecting small businesses? It's devastating small businesses. Let people go back to work and run their business in the free country. What do you think about the small businesses? man we're sick of being cooped up at home we want to live like we were meant to live soar like eagles that we are it's time to do it get back to our, what life is all about freedom family and fun right. Right. open it up baby open it up what do y'all say about opening up the city